made an underwater exploration diving game in Unreal Engine 5 in a couple of days inspired in Apsu. This game immerses you into the vast depths of the ocean. Your objective is to find your last submarine and fix it. You can explore, loot, deal and discover the biggest and sneakiest marine species on planet Earth. I made this in only a couple of days and I think that the gameplay turned out very relaxing and engaging. The best part? You can play it right now for free. The link is in the description. With that said, let's go through the journey of creating this project. So I started by creating a new Unreal Engine 5.4 project. Once it was opened, I thought to myself, where do I start? The first step was to create the swimming locomotion. For this, I began playing around with the player's movement, direction and gravity. Honestly, I came up with a very interesting movement in only a few minutes. Once the movement was done, it was time to add some animations to make it feel better. As right now, I created a blend space where on every direction there's a different animation. That way it will create a smooth locomotion for the player. Once the locomotion was done, it was time to replace the mannequin. I went and searched on Sketchfab until I saw this one, which looks pretty cool. I bricked it with Maximo and in Unreal I made a real-time retarder. That way as they have different skeletons, the animations will be copied from the mannequin to the diver and we can use them. Alright, so now we could swim around with our diver, but it doesn't feel right. The thing needed was audio. I added some underwater sounds and this improved the experience a lot. With that done, I began working on the inventory system as it will be an important feature for the exploration of the game. Right now it's extremely simple and there's only one item in the game which is fish, but don't worry, it will grow out and expand later on. Alright, so now we could swim around with our own diver, we could collect things with our simple inventory, and we had some sounds. So what is left? Well, of course, an environment. I'm going to be using this underwater blueprint from Karim. I actually used this underwater blueprint in another video and devlog which was making an underwater body cam game in Unreal Engine 5 which actually turned super realistic, super cool, so I will link in the description just in case you want to check it out. As you can see this environment is crazy good, it looks amazing, the immersion is there, it just feels so cool like you, you know you're diving underwater. To expand the map, what I did was begin to experiment with PCG to basically spawn this algae along the whole landscape and also even some rocks. But at the end, I thought that using manually sculpting and painting some algae and some rocks was gonna be easier and faster. Now, I added a secret thing to the game, so I want you guys to just watch this clip and try to spot what I have added. That's right, I added a freaking whale to this game. It looks absolutely amazing and terrifying compared to the size of the player. Then I started to improve the environment by adding nanite tessellation, which essentially adds triangle on top of the landscape to make it look interesting. Then I began working on the starting area, as I didn't want the diver, or in this case the player, to begin on that coral reef. I wanted to move it into an open space where there's a sense of direction in all places and you don't know where to go and essentially you're lost. To improve the immersion of the game, I added some bubbles that will come out of the player as you swim and I think it looks really really cool. Then I left the visuals a bit and began with actual mechanics. So the first thing that I wanted to change was the inventory. Instead of being a plain 2D widget, I wanted to make it like in a 3D space to make it a bit different from other games and I think that there's a very cool opportunity with this player in this size. And I know this is kind of visual but <laughs> you know what I mean. With that out of the way, there was a thing that I wanted to change. And the thing is that it took too much time to move around the open world. Like it seemed beautiful, the size was pretty correct, but you know, it felt like you were very slow and you want to just kind of press shift and run. And that is basically what I did. I introduced a turbo mechanic where if you hold the left shift, you will basically start to swim more intensively for a few seconds. 
And to avoid people just spamming this and ruining a bit of the experience, what I did was add a little stamina bar, let's say, that will appear in 3D again next to the player and it will slowly drain and then it will go ahead and fill up once again. Now, yes, very cool. We have all of these mechanics already in the game, but there's something that I haven't thought about and it's what's really the purpose of the game? What do you have to do? What's the objective? Well, I thought for a bit and I decided that you are a lost diver and you essentially have to find some scrap, which is old pieces of metal throughout the map and you will need to also find your last submarine and essentially fix it and escape so as you can see i built this really nice area in the map where basically the submarine is and you will need to find it now i added a very cool key element to find it which is sound and it will be basically emitting this typical radar submarine sound every couple of seconds in 3d and therefore you will be able to orient through the ocean and find it. Then I added more scrap pieces around the submarine and also made an interactable prompt where you can actually click to fix the submarine. And later on, I will check that you have the necessary pieces of scrap. Now I thought, how do I indicate this to the player and normally someone would you know spend hours thinking on how to transmit the message into the player you know in a cool story way and with narrative or whatever and i just i just added a camera with a text at the beginning of the game <laughs> that, that's it but of course i made it in a pretty cool way where you know the text is like in 3d the camera is like in an ultra wide angle with all the seaweed in between and you know i think this is pretty cool and pretty decent for like a small little game you know what i mean so things left to do is to actually be able to fix the submarine and to grow in the game and then just sparse and scrap and make it more interesting and maybe possibly add like a threat and you know where i'm coming with this okay so what i needed was to add a threat to the player right now you can just wander around the whole ocean and just not be scared of anything just relaxed and that's good but there's some moments that i think adding a bit of tension will be pretty cool so i decided to add stingrays to the game basically they will be used positioned at certain points in the map and normally they will be in groups of three and this one will be covering an item which of course will be scrap and in order to obtain the scrap you need to pass through a bit of danger to grab it without you know being caught by them basically if you get hit by them you instantly die and you restart the whole game i also improved a bit this system then i began to create the escaping sequence so you will be able to see this little quick cinematic of the submarine just going and escaping after that, I made a main menu, which is essential to, you know, be able to play the game properly. And after that, there was only one sequence remaining, which was, of course, the initial cinematic. Now, oh my god, I, I spent a bit of time to try to make this look good. I mean, I'm not very good at keyframing and cinematics and animation, so this was a bit of a... Uh, of a challenge honestly so this is basically the submarine crashing and the diver just going out of it did, did that look good i don't know about that but one thing that does look good is overall the gameplay i mean look how cool the level turned out the swimming mechanics is so satisfying. I love it, honestly. Okay, so then I spent more time overall refining, improving certain mechanics as the inventory, adding certain locations for the items, for the scrap, adding more stingrays to certain locations to make it more, you know, interesting and to overall finish up the game. Now, there's a million more things that I would love to add, but I'm not gonna spend more time in this spread for now unless of course you support it a lot if that's the case make sure to smash that like button subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment letting me know that you want to expand this game okay so there's only one more thing left to do which is to package the game 
test it and put it on each IO so you guys can play it. So I packaged the game and when I opened it up everything was super smooth and super cool so I was happy to go. Next up I began setting up the each IO page. Now the thing was picking up the description, the game name and all that stuff. Thankfully I have ChatGPT to help me with this. As you can see ChatGPT gave me a whole game design document which is a GDD which will basically outline all of the things about the game and I loved it. I picked up the description and then just made a couple of names that I could pick on. So from the list there were two names that I loved. The first one was Deep Blue Odyssey. I love that one and then the second one is Last in the Deep which is the one that I ended up choosing. I don't know what name honestly is better. I think Lost in the Div is cool, but I also like Deep Blue Odyssey or maybe there's others that fit the game. So please let me know down in the comments below what name do you think that fits better the game. And I might change it, but for now, I will keep it as Lost in the Deep. With all that done, the game is now available for free on HIO. You can download it through the link in the description. Let me know what you think about the game. Should I continue with it and add more features? Well, that depends on your support. The game should run pretty smoothly, but I will be reading all of your comments to see how it runs for you. You can also join my Discord server with over 8,000 members where I will probably play the game and chat with you about it. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button and the subscribe button. My channel is full of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials so in here you will also learn on how to make games check out my patreon and the members for many benefits follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye